Hey there everyone, this is D22 with you today, and oh wait a minute, what's different? Whoa, what is this? This is Windows 8, the Evaluation Edition. I just downloaded it a few days ago and installed it on my computer, and boy oh boy, I like the look of this, because that's the Start Menu. And then you can just escape from the Start Menu, and that's pretty amazing, because what you see here, the Start Menu, you just click down there, and then it appears. As you can see, it looks very similar to Windows 7, but different in many senses. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Start, and this is what we'll see there. Now this sort of is familiar to some of you. Like this probably looks like the Xbox 360 media interface. So what it has, it has these app reviews. So we're going to go to first the Store app, where it will take us to the App Store in the Microsoft area and allow us to download applications. It's pretty nice. So as you can see the user interface is very graphically smooth and runs very very well. So we're in the store right now. As you can see the store takes a while to load, we apologize. And you can upload, download I should say, apps on here. So you can scroll to the right and then you can look at photo apps, entertainment apps, social apps, games, music and videos, books and references, news and weather, food and dining, shopping, travel, productivity, tools, security, and education, which is really cool. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to look up something in the new releases section. So we're at the new releases homepage, and it gives you the apps. How cool is that? How cool is this? That's really, really amazing. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to go back a bit, and then we're going to look at the apps that I already got. A shampoo image effects. This is one of the free apps. So, what I can do here is I can use what's called a file picker, or actually, we're going to use a webcam. So, what we're going to do is that we're just going to activate it. So, can a shampoo image effects use your webcam? We'll go to allow, and then what we'll do here is we're just going to take a quick picture. Okay, I got to wait for it. Oh, you just click. So, what happens here is you can crop the photo to however you want, and then you can press OK. So then what happens, it takes your photo, and then you can do what's called basic effects. Like you can do an outline effect. So you can take your picture, pixelize it, oil paint it, jitter it, whatever you like. So we're going to wait and process it so that it outlines. See, that's pretty neat, isn't it? And then you can just emboss, and then you can go color effects, grayscale. Now, what does that look like without the emboss? So, if it's not to your liking, you can just go to reset, and then you can reset the effect. So, let's choose one bit. Wow, that's pretty sweet. So, we'll just reset that. And then we're just going to close out of this. So what you can do is you can right click on the screen or you can go here and then go back to the start menu. And then we can switch. You can switch between apps. You see this means that it's currently active. I also have Fraps and Camtasia and EasyVid. That's just another program that I got. And then there's my Skype and all my others. And there's a game called Cut the Rope there. That's a free app as well and also your Xbox companion. So we're gonna go there now and it's just a preview right now. This is only the evaluation copy but I so far enjoy it and I notice a big difference on there. So what we're gonna do basically this coincides with your Xbox 360 console. Now the console in my room is not the newer one so as you can see it didn't detect it. So what we'll do is we're just going to escape that. We're gonna close out of this and you can basically connect your Xbox 360 wirelessly to your computer. How sick is that? That's pretty cool. Now like I said before, the Xbox 360 that I have in my room is only the white one where it doesn't have the built-in wireless, whereas the one in downstairs is the black one. So we're not going to go through that in great detail, but we're just going to show you some differences here. Now the only thing different is the start menu and also the sign-in screen. You can integrate your Hotmail account into this, which is really sweet. So what we're going to do next is we're just going to explore another part of the menu. 
this is just an expandable on the start menu so we're just going to go back there and what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the name there should be a settings option there so we'll go to all apps this takes you to all the applications that's installed on your computer which is pretty darn sweet so then what we're going to do next okay we're just going to get rid of that we're going to go to the task manager now it has a really nice customizable look to it so what we can do is we're going to go to task manager and it just wow isn't that pretty cool it just switches between active processes performance and you can just end tasks quickly like like this this is just sweet so it's very very user friendly from what I've seen it also gives you a graph and also statistics on how your CPU is doing your Wi-Fi signal disk space memory and your CPU speed is doing it's really really sweet so we're just gonna close out of that and one of the cool things about this is is that you can use your arrow to customize everything you want and it's all on the side which is pretty sweet so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to the side here and then we will go to devices so you can switch your second screen input when you have a display cable VGA display cable and it allows you to set up a different screen which is really sweet so the next thing that we're gonna do whoosh, let's just click over here where's the mouse is we'll go to settings now the settings are completely different what you see here is where your wireless signal is if you're connected to a wireless network your volume your brightness if you have a laptop your English settings power options and also the notifications and you can also go into more PC settings eye candy it's eye candy and then you can set your lock screen your start screen and you can choose a background for it like I'm going to choose this tribal background and you can choose the color which is really nice and then you can choose your account picture you can make a picture of yourself with a webcam or you can browse in your folder and you can get a picture there so that is really one of the best ways to do it if you want to have customization in your account and you can specify users notifications search share general settings which is pretty basic privacy devices that are hooked up I have a USB receiver and the Xbox 360 that is detecting is downstairs so it hasn't been set up yet and also your wireless signal you can turn airplane mode on in it which is really cool because this would mainly just be for a Wi-Fi device but it's also for notebooks and desktops as well ease of access you can set it so that it makes it easier synchronize your settings you can synchronize browser info and sign in pages home group you can also do home groups on it detected my brother's network and then windows update and it's set to automatically install updates which is the default setting that you can set there so yeah it's pretty nice when it comes to this sort of thing so we're just gonna switch out and then we are just gonna close out of this now switching between menus can get a little confusing so what we'll do here is we're gonna go back to the old task manager and then we can just switch out of that which is very simple as you can see it's like Windows 7 but with a new polished look so I hope you enjoyed this small detailed video about it and if you have any other questions about this or if you have this please leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions for you so you take care get fueled for life have a wonderful day and I'll respond to you another time I'll see you later